Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Suzette. Today, you guys, I'm going to be making um, some baked flounder with some shrimp scampi topped over some mashed potatoes and some sauteed spinach. I hope you guys had a blessed Monday today. Mondays are always rough, so just relax, embrace this recipe. And with that being said, do me a favor. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment down below. Put your notifications on so every time I'm uploading a video, you will be first to be notified. And don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Okay, so let's get into this video. So guys, I have five pieces of flounder that I got here from Aldi's, the individual packs that I just um, thought out. Um, I'm going to season these up. I'm going to put these in the oven on 375. And once I do that, I'm going to do my shrimp scampi sauce. I have some potatoes already going. I'm um, also I have my water on for my sauteed spinach. Let's get into this video. So I have some Lowry seasoning that I'm going to be using. And you just want to do a half a teaspoon of seasoning. These uh, fillet, flounder fillets are really thin, so you don't need a lot of seasoning. You don't want to make your food too salty. Let's just get under here. Nothing goes unseasoned. I'm going to use some... I'm gonna, <laughs> this is actually accent. This is optional if you want. Um, you don't have to use this, but um, I like using it. I like the way it makes my food taste. Half a teaspoon of this as well. I have some garlic and parsley. All the seasons I'm gonna be using today is a half a teaspoon. some black pepper here half a teaspoon and I'm also going to be using some of this Tony's Creole seasoning half a teaspoon and I'm just going to flip the fish over and do the season on the other side as well and if you get these fillets, be very gentle because, like I said, they are very thin and you don't want your fish to break apart. Not that it would hurt it, but just presentation-wise. Go back in with these lorries. If anyone is watching my video from Louisiana, I'm sending out prayers and condolences to you guys. I hope that you guys are okay, you're safe. I saw online it was pretty bad down there from Hurricane Ida. And once again, I'm just gonna reiterate, I'm using a half a teaspoon of all the seasons I'm using today. I'm going to preheat my oven to 375. I'm going to check on my potatoes, which they are done, ready. So next I'm going to take some lemon. I'm going to actually need some more lemon because um, I'm going to squeeze them on and then I'm going to put some lemon slices on top of the fish. Here. 
want to be careful wash out for your fingers just cutting this these slices in half let me grab another uh, lemon up the fridge This is a firm lemon, so we're just going to get the juices going and roll this back and forth so that uh, juice in our lemon can loosen up. So when we cut it, it just comes right on out. And it won't be difficult when you squeeze it. So, I'm going to take this little piece here. bring our fish back and we just going to drizzle all over all over excuse me for my for my for my old school ones it's been here for a minute y'all know when I use Tony's Creole seasoning that cayenne in there it always makes me sneeze Y'all have to try this recipe. It's easy, it's simple. And you will not regret it. And not only that, it's healthy. It's healthy. Let's hit it again, it's healthy. Okay. Gonna wait for my oven to get ready and then i'll show you the next step so how to make the most amazing mashed potatoes ever let your girl hook you up and show you so this is about seven medium russell potatoes here that i just um boiled up and they're soft i'm gonna use i'm gonna be very generous on the butter because you can't have good mashed potatoes without butter um i'm gonna use some sea salt and you, with potatoes of course you know you have to taste as you go I'm going to use some accent it, does, it says cumin it's not cumin guys it's, I just used this bottle accent and MSG is the same thing I'm going to use some black pepper as you can hear our oven is ready. I'm going to use a little bit of our garlic powder. And your girl got some having whipping cream. Yes. Shake it up first. And I do have a masher, but I'm from the old school. I basically like using a fork. I don't like them completely mashed. I like I like them chunky. If you want, you can add some cheese to this. This is the consistency I want. You can, you know, mash them down how you want them. Mmm, perfect. I don't have any uh, fresh parsley, so I'm just going to use some parsley flakes. I'm telling y'all, you are going to love this. Just gonna use a little bit more butter. Can't have good mashed potatoes without butter. I'm sorry for someone who can make awesome potatoes without butter. Tag me, let me know. Yum. Okay, so we're gonna put our fish in the oven. So guys, 
I'm so excited. Let me tell y'all. Let me show these amazing oven mitts from a place called Geek Nom. They are amazing. Look at those cool designs on them. Look at that. They're extra long. Like, they don't just come here. They're like up here to make sure that you're safe. Um, You don't get burned while putting things and taking things out of the oven. They have the little soft cushion on the inside so they'd be nice and plush. And let me just show y'all. Let me show you. See, this is, this is what it looks like, guys. This is what it looks like. Really cute, really comfortable. These even, you can even, I'm going to show you. You can wash your meat or whatever in these because they're silicone on the outside. So they're waterproof. They can be in heat up to 500 degrees. I mean, these things are awesome. You guys need to get you some. I suggest it. I'm referring you. Do you trust me? I know you do. So we're about to put our fish in the oven. So safety is first. Let's put our oven mitts on. Let's get our fish in the oven. And because it's only five and it's so thin, I'm gonna say maybe mm, 10 to 14 minutes until they become nice and flaky. Let's get the potatoes in. We clean up as we go. So by the time dinner is done, we don't find ourselves overwhelmed with trying to clean the kitchen. In the cover. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna saute our veggies. Until they're translucent. So this is what your veggies should look like once they're translucent. Got a nice little crisp on them. Not completely salted. Basically the al dente to the bite. Which is how our family likes them. You can cook them all the way sauteed if you like. Just gonna take cut this off and we're gonna pour this over top of our fish. Yum. Look at our fish. Fish YouTube family, yummy. Just came out the oven. It was in there for 10 to 14 minutes. And now we're gonna pour, so now we're gonna pour our veggies over top. Look how beautiful and colorful that is. Um, that thing is glistening glistening y'all better try this recipe y'all don't be sleeping on me y'all know i got y'all okay so let's get to the start of the show which is the shrimp scampi you put enough oil at the bottom of the pan just to cover it up i have my um my stove on medium heat 
once this comes up to um, the appropriate temperature, we're going to add our shrimp, we're going to add our garlic. I'm not using, um, I'm not using uh, white wine. This is just a simple, simple butter, lemon, garlic sauce. Very simple. So fam, since we're waiting on our pan to warm up, let me just show y'all for real. You think it's a game? Look at this. Waterproof. Waterproof. How amazing is that? I'm going to put Geek Nine's information in my description box so you guys can grab your pair. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed at all. Look at that. It's good for grilling up to 500 degrees in heat. As for my family, we grill up all throughout the year. We don't just grill during the summer. Amazing. Look at that. Y'all better grab y'all pair. So our pan is ready. Hit that sizzle. We're just gonna saute these until they're nice and pink. You know, shrimp doesn't take any time to cook at all. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of butter. Matter of fact, let's just make it three. That's two. I'm being generous today with the butter. It's a scanty sauce, guys. And I use the same seasoning that I use with the fish, um, the seasoned salt, uh, the MSG slash accent, either, however you want to label it, which is optional. But if you want it to taste exactly like my recipe, uh, I prefer that you use it. But you don't have to pepper, garlic powder, and a little bit of Tony's Creole seasoning. Have my pan on medium heat. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in our seven cloves of garlic. You can't have a great scampi sauce without garlic. I'm just gonna get that going. Oh my God. I don't know who created garlic, but this is it. Oh my God, I love fresh, the smell of fresh garlic and onions and green peppers all together. And now we're gonna add in a lemon juice. Fresh lemon guys, I wouldn't suggest using the bottle stuff. To me, the bottle lemon juice has an aftertaste, which doesn't just taste that great to me. Don't like it. You can't make me like it. And fresh lemon is just good overall to use. Uh, let's see. I got a couple flakes left, and that is it. And you already know when the shrimp turn pink, it is done. Look at that. Voila, our shrimp is done. This is what they're supposed to look like because we don't want overcooked shrimp, right? So guys, I hope, 
I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I want you guys to try it. It is easy. The family will love it, especially if you're a seafood lover like I am. Please try this recipe. With that being said, thank you so much for watching my video. I appreciate each and every one of you. With that being said, stay blessed and not stressed. Y'all get y'all some Geek Nom oven mitts. I'm telling you, they're the bomb. I'm going to leave that information down in my description box. With that being said, y'all have a blessed week. Love you guys so, so, so much. Bye.